Hello and welcome, my name is Vishal and today we are playing Battlefleet Gothic Armada. Alrighty, so we've got a bunch of data recovery missions, a few planetary assault missions. I think I'm going to do a data recovery mission. Now last time we did a data recovery mission, I think we lost it because I got overly cocky and was like, yeah, we can definitely do it. And then I tried to teleport away last second with the blink ability and it failed horribly. So we'll try not to have that happen again because, well, that was kind of bad. Um, I don't think I'm going to bring in my level 10, actually, because there's zero reason actually to bring in the level 10. It's not a fight that I'm really worried about. So not really a reason to bring it in then. All right, so we just have to get the data off of this battleship and then maybe kill the battleship. and go from there. Alrighty. The data started right in the middle. We'll fire the fire ones. Hopefully cause quite a bit of fire damage, and then I'll fire a few of the normal torpedoes as well. Just so they aren't so bad. And... We'll start firing our weapons off at him. actually just do this. We're definitely going to do this. Understood. And we'll just turn a little bit harder. Right there. Just because I don't really want to deal with it. And I'll go a little bit quicker here, too. Um, he just lightning striked me. And we lost our engine, so... Not the best, if I do say so myself. And we're about to knock into each other. If I could keep that at a minimal, that'd be great. Or minimum, as some people would say. There we go. Wreck his shields. We'll take the data off of him. Now everyone is going to want to attack him. Which is unfortunate because he's the one without the engines. Alright, I'm gonna just do a ramming there. We lost some data. That's fine though, because... We're basically going to take it here.
Unfortunately, he's gonna probably take it as well. Which is why I'm going to run basically right into these guys. I'm just going to ram you. And then we'll take that data. Wow. Some of these guys have taken a ridiculous amount of damage. And this is gonna hurt. Oh, it was just a plasma bomb, it's fine. I will warp away though. Just give us that extra bit of space. I do, however, have to kind of be worried because we don't have a lot of... Well, if they do take the data, we have to be ready to take it back immediately. Because they will take it back immediately. Um, someone just took the data back. Alright. I think we should be okay. To destroy the enemy. Yeah, now we should be fine. He might just run away at this point. because we have done a stupid amount of damage. All right, go forward. Um, my phone is being annoying. I mean, I guess it's always being annoying, but being a bit more annoying today. Or at least at this very moment. Enjoy that, buddy. You can no longer board, and now you're running without the data. And you're dead. Bye, buddy. There we go. We did it. We didn't even get the data out. We just chose to kill the enemy. Alrighty. And this was the last deployment of this turn, meaning we can go to the next turn and see if this campaign will be over soon, because it has to be over soon. Like. I think we've hit the climax. Oh, cutscene. What can possibly justify interrupting me, Ugandus? Lord Admiral, the light of the Astronomicon shines once more. Reinforcements have been dispatched to the Gothic sector. The warp storm. It is gone. Oh. Tremble before the majesty of the Emperor. So we win? For we all walk in his immortal shadow. Chapter 5. Imperium Resurgent. So he won. Admiral Spire, the warp storm that isolated the Gothic sector is beginning to come. Several ships from neighboring sector battle fleets have arrived. Battle fleet got 
traffic has been bloodied in this war. So these reinforcements are badly. Nice. Several chapters of Space Marines. Ooh, Space Marines. Along with battle barges and strike cruisers. We have endured this long thanks to your efforts, Admiral Spire. Without your courage and valor in defending the sector, Abaddon may have won a swift victory here. Our alliance with the Eldar Corsairs has been fruitful. The aliens are sharing their knowledge about the Webway Gate. With the Eldar's aid and the support of the fleets arriving from nearby sectors, we at last have the strength we need to defeat Abaddon. Okay, let's do it. The mighty battle fleet Gothic shall rise again. Our fleets will be the shield and the hammer of the Imperium. As the Emperor's servants, we must attend to our duty. And let's do it then. Alright, warp storm penalties are gone. And nothing special except for a planetary assault on one of our portal worlds. We are the defender here. We have to do this, unfortunately. Gonna be a pain in the butt to do, but we have to do it. Um, I could take in these three, and I think I might. I'm gonna take in the level 10, even though I said that level 10 is basically useless now. Because of the fact that we... We need this mission to go smoothly, and that level 10 will hopefully allow us to do that. Because if we bring a few really strong players, and quickly destroy the enemy we should be able to limit their ability to take the world whether that's the case or not I don't know but mm, it sounds nice alright we'll start just sending out our beacons. Tell everyone to auto their boarding procedures. And we should be good. They have six ships that we can see. And they only have to either fail three times, or we have to just kill them before they've succeeded on the third time. Orders. And I think we're gonna go after these guys. Uh, maybe not, because there's two... Yeah, we're gonna... Probably not go after these guys. I'm we I mean we probably will. Only because if we can kill those guys quickly, we should have a better chance. And it basically shuts down this entire side if we can kill these four. That being said, we're gonna full ahead here. And I'm just gonna launch all torpedoes forward. Yeah, the nice long range abilities. Alright. Yep, you're dead. Unfortunately, I think the. Okay, that's great for us because they have to attack that spot. And they very well might not be able to. We're going to do this. We are going to just basically make a U-turn here. Uh, 
Um, yeah, let's try not to hit the... Poor... Poor defense platform. Alright. Let's stop. And let's force them. Yeah, this basically just force them to stop their attack. Which is exactly what we wanted. Um, that might kill him. Yep. As we're pushing this guy. There we go. And he's dead. We have, however, taken quite a bit of damage on our the ships that are still alive. But I suppose not nearly as much damage as what they've taken. Because they've actually lost ships, unlike us. And this is why long range is so strong. Like, oh yeah, we want to hit the enemy. Oh yeah, we can, because we're stupidly long range. Yeah, they're dead. I wonder if that's going to hit. Ah, uh, he's dead. Actually, that is going to... Holy hit. Alright, let's just try and jump out of there. They're gonna board us. Although that's fine. Because we're gonna do this. Kill him. Boom. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. I really wonder how many chapters are in this game. Like, this is just the beginning of chapter 5. I imagine chapter 5 is the end, though. Alright. Um, I think I'm gonna end it at Port Ma, though, in this episode. Just so we can get check our upgrades, because I know we've leveled up a ship, I think at least once. Yeah, we le upgraded our other overlord, which needs its upgrades, and then we upgrade our Dauntless. Yeah. Okay. Well, that was about it. I just wanted to throw those upgrades on there. Didn't really have to on camera, but I felt like it. Anyways, but hope you guys have a wonderful day.